All right, good morning class. So this is gonna be uh, kind of like a, the start of our series on Fridays. We're gonna be kind of more uh, philosophy content information based, uh, not so much work based. So no workout or anything like that, but this is gonna be a little bit longer of a video as well. So um, <clears throat> as we're going through this fitness unit, we've started learning a few movements this week and starting to exercise a little bit but we actually need to define our terms to start. So we're gonna take a, a closer look at what is fitness and we're gonna define it so that we can actually move toward a specific goal. So what is fitness? Um, a lot of... A lot of people have tried to define it. Um, I really like uh, it. It's, we're not running a CrossFit program, but I appreciate the fact that CrossFit has made things uh, free and accessible. Um, and in order to uh, follow along as best as possible, please have um, What is Fitness Part One. It's a, a PDF file that is on Canvas. It'll be in this assignment. Um, please make sure that you have that so you can reference it. Um, you don't need to read all of it, but I am gonna be pulling out uh, different parts of it so that you guys can have access to the information just in case you can't see it so well on the board um, and then you can always go back to it. So what is fitness and what um, you know what are the things that go into what are the variables that go into being fit and being healthy? So there's lots of markers, health markers and different tests that you can do when you go into a doctor's office obviously. Um, and we're gonna talk about those later, but for our purposes right now in this little discussion so far, we're gonna talk about actual performance-based measurements that you can um, measure uh, by yourself for the clock or whatever you need, and you can repeat it and you can make it objective. So for our purposes, we're gonna list the 10 general physical skills and we're gonna to start to go through and know the difference between all of these things. I am, uh, I have my little cheat sheet here, uh, so I make sure that I get everything um, and I don't forget anything or look too silly. So the very first one, and this is the one that people uh, stress a lot, is cardiovascular um, endurance or cardiorespiratory um, endurance. And so we're just gonna put cardio up here, or I'll put cardio respiratory, cardio respiratory, okay? And if you don't know or you forget, cardio respiratory is lungs, heart, veins and arteries, okay? So and how well those things function, how much oxygen can your lungs take out of the air um, and put into the blood, and more importantly, how much carbon dioxide can you get out of your blood? We're gonna go into that more later as well. So cardiorespiratory, okay? Stamina. Okay, and I, I, I'm reading from this because I want to make sure that I'm not goofing up. Um, but stamina, and we're all using the, the same definitions. The ability of the body system to process, deliver, store, and utilize energy, okay? Yes, you're gonna to want to know these definitions. Okay, number three, strength. The ability of a muscular unit or combination of muscular units to apply force, okay? Flexibility. The ability to maximize the range of motion, obviously, that's a lot of injury prevention as well, but if you can't touch your toes, we need to work on that, okay? Power. Okay, and how power is different from strength, please know. Uh, the ability of a muscular unit or combination of muscular units to apply maximum force in minimum amount of time. So strength and power are different because strength, you might be able to move a really heavy weight, but you're not gonna go very fast. Power, you have to be able to move in a certain amount of time. It's the most uh, force in the least amount of time, okay? Strength doesn't really care about time so much. Speed. The ability to or minimize the time cycle of a repeated movement. So I think 
cardio cardio respiratory is going to be much more cross country, right? Speed is going to be that hundred meter sprint. Same same concept, just different. And so that you can see kind of the, some of the parallels here. Uh, strength to power for me is the same as cardio respiratory to speed. Um, coordination. Okay. The ability to combine several distinct movement patterns into a singular distinct movement. Walk a jugon. Uh, agility. Oh, sorry, the ability to maximize transition time from one movement uh, pattern to the next. Um, balance. And accuracy. How often can you do the same thing over and over and over? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all ten. Okay. When it comes to these ten things, if you are going to be considered a fit person, again, not healthy, we're not thinking about a healthy person, we're talking about a fit person, your fitness level is going to be kind of the average of all of these 10 things, okay? So, if you can run a marathon, great, that's really cool for you, like that's good. Your cardiorespiratory is great, but you're probably not gonna be very strong. So, you are specialized in this cardiorespiratory area. Our goal here is in creating well-balanced athletes and well-balanced well students because we want to have an average ability in all of these things or above average if you want to be even more fit. But we have to look at all of these. If we ignore any of these, we are not going to be as fit as possible. And that's all, when, or, or, in a later, uh, probably next week to be honest, we're going to talk about what it, that really means and what the consequences of that thing are. Okay? So, um, I want you guys to be able to go through and know these definitions, okay? Know what we're working on, um, but realize that your, your fitness level is the combination of all of these things, okay? Um, and if you have questions or if you don't understand what the differences are in them, please make sure that you note, note that and then talk about, you know, ask me or your teacher about it the next day and we can try to clarify. If you have a question, I guarantee other people in your class have the same question, okay? So as we're going through this unit, these are gonna be the things that we want to test and we wanna get better at. And so as we're doing these body weight movements and that sort of thing, we're going to be improving these, and we're not, you don't just improve one of them at a time, we can improve all of them uh, at the same time. And that's why we're having to learn how to squat, how to push up correctly, keeping our midline safe, so you guys, this is, I understand there is a lot of information going through, um, but please make sure that you are um, actually focusing in on this stuff and knowing it. Because if you can know this stuff and see, or actually understand it, I promise you're gonna see the value in what you are doing, okay? So, I said we were gonna do it next week, but I got time, we're gonna just go for it. So, when it comes to the difference between health and healthy and being fit, Okay, we are constantly striving to, striving to be fit because healthy simply means not sick. Okay, so the way, best way I know uh, to demonstrate this and to show you is actually gonna be on page 21 of that uh, L1 guide that I gave you. Note the page number at the bottom, not the actual PDF. Um, but it's, we, I just call it the um, wellness continuum. So if you guys, probably see it, there's a big arch uh -oh, on the paper, right? And over here is going to be sick. Over here is going to be fit. And in the middle is going to be healthy. Okay? Like I said earlier, from now on, our idea of healthy, for especially for this unit, but I, I, I abide by this as just like a life uh, rule, being healthy is just not being sick, okay? If you, if you just wanna be comfortable, then you are going to be a healthy individual, um, but we're gonna go through why that might not be such a great thing, all right? So, when you go to the doctor and you start, 
you're getting checked out maybe for a physical, right? If you guys wanna play sports or anything like that and you get um, tests done, a lot of the things that they're looking at, are, it's not a, they're not complicated and we'll learn how to do some of these. Uh, but, and you guys have probably heard some, they're looking at blood pressure, right? Okay, if you don't know what blood pressure is, it's the amount of tension that your blood puts on uh, blood vessels, so arteries and veins. And there's usually two measurements. There's the systolic, okay, and that's where, uh, when your heart's contracted and it's pushing blood through your veins, there's more tension on the vein. And then there's diastolic. Diastolic's when your heart is relaxed. And uh, from my experiences, the diastolic's always been the more important one. Um, and in all honesty, growing up, I had high blood pressure. So that's why I kind of had to learn all this stuff. Um, another really big important one is gonna be body fat percentage. Okay, body fat percentage. It's harder to test. Um, there are, there's a pinch test. Um, you can hold on to the little thing. There's a, a fit body type scale that uses electrical pulses. Um, the best way of getting your body fat tested, uh, in all honesty though, is actually getting dunked in a huge tank of water or having to blow all the air out. It's really uncomfortable and it costs a lot of money. But when I hear students, and I have my athletes do this as well, where they say they have a target body weight, where it's just stepping onto a scale and measuring their gravitational force on Earth, it doesn't make any sense to me because you could have all of these other markers. Um, and I, I've got uh, two sisters as well, and they, they always have like, oh, I wanna weigh a certain body weight, and it baffles me, and I, I, I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. This number is much more important than your overall body weight, okay, when it comes to health and fitness. Um, bone density. It, they measure that usually through x-ray and they can, they can look at it. But by having dense bones, it means that they're less likely to break. So um, if you are susceptible to broken bones or you have broken several bones. Now again, if you've been in a, a big accident or anything like that, obviously you, you can only do so much. And we're going to get into a lecture on that later on as well. But bone density is super important. Triglycerides. We're getting scientific now. Okay. Triglycerides are types of fat. And it's types of fat in your blood. So other people might call it, um, you, you can know, cholesterol is another thing um, that's on the list. Uh, and then muscle mass. I've told my classes this before, or I've told my classes already this year, but uh, there is a very strong correlation between the amount of muscle mass and uh, longevity, life longevity and especially with leg strength. If you've got strong legs, you are much more likely to live longer and have a better quality of life later on as well. So when we go over to a doctor and they say, oh yes, you're within the, the normal realm for these things, they will, t they will tell us that we are healthy, but just because you are not at risk and you're not sick, that doesn't mean that you would be a fit individual, correct? Being able to manage a daily life without being uncomfortable or having pain, um, uh, or like really struggling does not really mean that you're prepared for, you know, a, a long hike or going on, you know, the backpacking trip uh, or doing, I don't know, just lots of hard work. But if we're constantly fight going over to this fitness side and we're trying to improve all 10 of these things, so magic happens, where not only are we within the healthy realm of these things, we're actually above the healthy realm and especially during this time, I, I feel kind of bad. Uh, I know there have been lots of families uh, that have been kind of hit by coronavirus um, and upset about it. And, and the virus has been interesting uh, in its ability to affect everyone differently. But what I will say is that the people that, the fit people that I knew or that I know that have gotten the coronavirus or the flu or a cold or anything of that nature are not sick as long and they've recovered faster than other people. And it's mostly because their body, obviously their bodies are functioning pretty darn well, but they recover faster because they're, this is kind of like a, a pendulum, right? So you have a, a, 
you have like a meter, right? If you're constantly going here and then you get sick, it might bump you down to where your blood pressure is not super uh, healthy anymore, probably goes up it's, uh, or down depending on your hydration level. Um, muscle mass goes down, things kind of get wrecked, but it recovers faster and that's mostly with your central nervous system. Okay, we're not gonna get that complicated. But it'll knock you down. If you're, if you're here, right, and then you get sick, it's gonna knock you down to about here, okay? But then you're gonna get right back up to this point faster. If you are just trying to be healthy and then you get sick, it might knock you all the way down. Okay, you, where you feel like death, correct? By the way, uh, just past sick, that's this, that's where this is. Okay, that's why if you have this fit mentality and you're constantly chasing fitness, you're going to actually stave off death. Uh, barring any uh, tragic accidents or anything like that, we'll, we're gonna have a, a, a conversation over that as well. Please, you don't need to hop on and I understand stuff happens. We're going to talk about it. But for our purposes right now, we as a department feel this is so important because you guys, I know a lot of people in my life that thought, you know, I'm doing great. I'm healthy. You know, uh, I feel okay. And then they actually started to exercise more and um, uh, start chasing this. And they didn't realize how much better they could feel. Okay. So you, 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 know, you don't know what you don't know. Um, I know on the days, if I go for five days where I don't exercise, especially on vacations where I don't exercise, I start feeling worse. And, and then I remember like, oh, that's why I have to exercise. So this is not supposed to be a chore. This is not supposed to be a punishment or anything like that. If you guys actually uh, apply yourselves to this and keep stay consistent with it, I would argue that you're going to have uh, a better quality of life in the long run. Okay, so we're doing it as a gift. Um, so these are things that we can measure as well. I mean, we've, uh, oh, sorry. That's what I was gonna say. With this body fat percentage, sometimes it gets conflated with the BMI, body mass index, okay? If you guys have ever done that, uh, Fitnessgram does it, the military will do it. Um, all it is, is your height, it's a ratio of your height and your body weight uh, that our government said was kind of like, oh, this is the, the range that we want you to be in. I am considered overweight, if not obese, depending on day of the week, um, on the BMI, okay? It's not a real thing. It's just, it's like a very um, inefficient, but, or sorry, not inefficient, ineffective, very ineffective, but efficient way of measuring and classifying uh, body types, okay? We're, when we do the BMI, I don't, it's, it's just, it's a faulty test, okay? I don't endorse it, I don't like it, it's just a number, don't worry about it, okay? These, these tests are much more important uh, and these measurements, and again, by trying to improve these things, these things will automatically get better, okay? So that's, look, looking at about 20 minutes, there's a lot of information. Please know the definitions for these things and be able to know this kind of health continuum, okay? Health and fitness continuum. If there's questions on these two big things, please be ready to bring them to class. Again, if you have questions, other people are gonna have questions and that way we can actually get a dialogue started. Otherwise, we're just gonna keep tracking straight forward, okay? Hope Friday treats you well. You guys have uh, the weekend kind of to digest this and then come back on Monday ready to talk about it, all right? Bye.